Muslims, where does Allah declare unequivocally in the Quran that the text of the gospel has been corrupted? Give us one unequivocal statement from Allah in the Quran saying that the text of the Injil, the gospel, has been corrupted. Just one. If you can give us one unequivocal statement from Allah in the Quran saying that the text of the gospel has been corrupted, again, I will record myself bowing down and reciting the Shahada. So David would ask this question, give me one unequivocal statement that states that the gospel, mark the words, the gospel is corrupt. I repeat this question, give me one unequivocal statement in the Quran that states that the gospel is corrupt. Let me give you the shock. The Quran does not state that the gospel is corrupt. The Quran does not say that the gospel is corrupted or changed or altered. Thank you Adnan Rashid. You just heard Adnan Rashid confirming to all the Muslims and the Christians that the gospel according to the Quran is not corrupted or altered or changed. The gospel according to the Quran is not corrupted. But what about the Torah? Is the Torah according to the Quran corrupted or uncorrupted like the gospel? Let us do some investigation. Now that the Muslims are agreeing with us that the Quran in no way, shape or form states that the gospel is corrupted. What about the Torah? When we ask Muslims like Adnan Rashid, can you show us from the Quran where the Quran states that the Torah is corrupted? They often give us the following ayahs or verses from the Quran. Chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 75, all the way down. Now let us read those verses. Do you hope that they will believe in you? When some of them, now we ask Muslims, who are the some of them? They will say it's a group of Jews. Some of those Jews. Wa minhum, right? Minhum. A party of them. They hear, they used to hear the word of Allah and then deliberately distort it, even after understanding it. So they hear the word of Allah, which is the Torah, and they de deliberately distort it even after understanding it with their mouths. And if we scroll down and go to verses like 78, a couple verses later, we can read the following. And among them, again, among uh, them of the Jews, among a group of them, وَمِنْهُمْ Ummiyuna and among them there are uneducated Jews who know the scripture, so they know the scripture, they read the scripture only through hearsay and they only speculate. Do you see it? So the scripture is there, they read from it, but they only assume and speculate. So nowhere does it say that the Torah is actually corrupted. No, it's talking in context about a group of Jews who are uneducated, who hear the scripture with their ears and they assume what it says. So woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands in the following ayah. And then say this is from Allah, that they might may exchange it for a little price. Ho to them for what their hands have written and ho to them for what they earn. So those group of Jews, among them, they are uneducated. They hear the verses of Allah, they hear the scripture, the Torah of Allah, and they want to ch change it with their own mouth. So nowhere does it say that all the Torahs are corrupted, but those evil group of Jews 
only a small group of Jews, they hear the Torah and they change it with their mouth and then they write it down in the way they want to use it for their own agenda and call it the scripture. So it's only a part of a group of Jews who are playing after hearing the actual Torah. So does it actually say that the Torah is corrupted? No, it is attacking those group of Jews, those evil wannabe Jews, according to the ayahs of the Quran here in chapter 2. So Muslims, how dare you, how dare you to say that all the copies of the Torah are corrupted? It does not say that. It's actually addressing and attacking those group of Jews who are playing after hearing the actual Torah. Now there are other ayahs like chapter 3, ayah 78 that Muslims give us when we ask for verses from the Quran where according to them Allah is saying that the Torah is corrupted. Chapter 3, Surah Ali Imran, ayah 78. Let us read it. And lo, there's a party of them, again a group of Jews, who distort the Torah, the scripture, with their tongues, that ye may think that what they say is from the scripture. So what they hear is actually not from the scripture, the real Torah, when it's not from the scripture, do you see it? So it's not from the Torah, and then they say it is from Allah. When it's not from Allah, and they speak a lie concerning Allah knowingly. So again, those group of Jews, a party of those Jews, they distort the scripture with their tongues. Do you see it? So where does it say that the Torah is corrupted? It does not say that. Again, we can now conclude that not only the gospel according to the Torah is perfectly preserved, but also the Torah is perfectly preserved, uncorrupted, certainly not corrupted as the Muslims now try to tell us. So who are the liars? Who are basically like those, a party of Jews, the Muslims of today? You are actually acting like the Jews when you say that the Torah and the gospel are corrupted. You are calling Allah and your prophet liars who actually both confirm that the Torah and the Gospel are perfectly preserved. Now if you want to know the real context behind this ayah, we can go to the tafsir. Let us see what tafsir of, let's say, tafsir al-Jalalain have to say about this. Same chapter, same ayah, ayah 78, now the tafsir of al-Jalalain. Tafsir al-Jalalain. So let us scroll down and read what the tafsir says in this case. The tafsir says the following. And there's a group, a party of them, the people of the scripture, in this case the Jews, like Kab bin al-Ashraf, who twist their tongues with the book, altering it by reciting it not according to the way in which it was revealed but according to the way in which they have distorted it, as in the case of the descriptions of the prophets and other similar matters, so that you may suppose it such distortion as part of the book that Allah revealed, yet it is not part of the book, and they say it's from Allah, yet it's not from Allah, and they speak falsehood against Allah, while they know that they are liars. So. It's addressing people like Kaab ibn al-Ashraf, right? Who was a Jewish leader who twists with the, his own tongue the words of Allah, the Torah in this case. So again, it does not actually say that the Torah is corrupted. It's people like Kaab ibn al-Ashraf, a group of Jews who distort the Torah after hearing it with their tongues. Do you see it? and call it, this is the Torah. So again, this ayah does not say that the Quran is corrupted. It's actually attacking those group of them, the group of the Jews who distort the scripture with their tongues. Do you see it? And who was Kaab bin al-Ashraf or Kaab 
Ibn al-Ashraf, he was a Jewish leader in Medina and a poet. Muhammad, the mafia leader, Muhammad, the cult leader of Islam, ordered his companions to kill him, to assassinate him after the battle of Better. After the battle of Better. So you see, Muhammad actually wanted to get rid of him and ordered him to be killed. So Muslims, how dare you? How dare you? Act like this group of Jews, a party of the Jews. You are basically doing what those Jews do. Say that the Torah is corrupted after hearing it, after reading it. You are acting like Kaab bin al-Ashraf. Clearly Allah and Muhammad believed in the Torah. Muhammad himself believed in the Torah. And confirm the Torah and even if you go to the hadith Muhammad says I believe in thee the Torah and the one who sent thee when the Torah was given to him so Muslims how dare you to call your prophet a liar and a deceiver now Muslims think with me here Let's say there is a group of Muslims who are very, very bad Muslims, evil Muslims, who might say that chapter 1 of the Quran, Surah Al-Fatiha, Ayah 1, states, in the name of Satan, instead of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah. So they say, instead of Bismillah, they say in the name of Satan. Does that mean that the Quran is now corrupted? You Muslims, of course, will say no. So that is what chapter 3, ayah 78 that we just mentioned states. The Quran in this ayah actually refutes the bad group of Jews who corrupt the Torah of Allah with their own tongues. So why are you saying that the Torah is corrupted? I mean, if we say that about your Quran, Right? Let's say the bad Muslims or a group of bad Muslims say something bad about the Quran, then that automatically does not mean that the Quran is corrupted. But why when a bad group of Jews corrupt the Torah with their tongues only, why do you claim that the Torah according to the Quran is corrupted? The Quran does not say that you are nothing but ignorance. Or you're nothing but liars and deceivers like this Adnan Rashid because Adnan Rashid mentioned chapter 3 ayah 78 in his video why are you not thinking Muslims hmm? Hmm. let me give you the shock the Quran does not state that the gospel is corrupt the Quran does not say that the gospel is corrupted or changed or altered let me give you the shock let me give you the shock